Hey everybody, Seth Miranda. Dave Bresca. This is Adorama Rewind. This is a weekly show that is a recap of industry and community news. Yeah, so let's get started. Yeah. Uh, the first story today is actually about the Manhattan Henge that was recently. Famous Manhattan Henge. Everybody's heard about it who's been shooting photos or landscapes forever. As long as you're in New York. As long as you're in New York, yes. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. If, if you don't know about Manhattan Henge, it's, it's quite interesting. There's an article on ALC about it. Uh, it features it, the best of the Instagram photos, so you don't have to go through the entire all of Instagram to find every Manhattan Henge. We got the best ones. Yeah, that was on May 31st that the article went up. Yeah, uh, yeah. So check that out. So if you, and if you don't know what Manhattan Henge is, it's when the sun lines up with the street and actually shoots through and down every avenue. I think it's the avenue, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, the streets. Streets. Not the avenues. Whatever. Yeah. It looks awesome. <laughs> All right. So let's get into this. Why do I have YouTube up? What is this? Yes. All right. So Time Magazine cover. We got to talk about this. Uh, 958 drones flown in sync to create the Time Magazine cover. Uh, this is the age we live in. Right. Yeah. I mean, how much work did that require to get the, all those... Like, I want a CBTS. Of like yes. I mean, if you ever tried to fly a drone, level <laughs> 958, and photograph it with proper exposure, brilliant. I think this is the level of content we're at now. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, what I want to talk about, actually, real quick. Oh, I see. That's why yeah. it's up. I see. <laughs> this is our, oh, by the way, it's the first episode. So first it's, episode. It can only get smoother from here, kids. Hopefully. It's like, you know, <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, also in Adorama TV News. Right. So... This week, or, or sorry, last week, we had a couple of videos that went live. Uh, there was a live stream, but it was in the event space. Right. So this is where we're shooting this show right now. Yeah, opposite direction, though. Yeah. Yeah, so this is actually Adorama. Right. This is the Adorama <laughs> store, uh, and we are shooting in the event space right now. And uh, so I wanted to kind of bring to light a, that a particular couple of videos this past week, uh, one is the lighting character portraits. Yeah, this one was awesome, by the way. It was probably like every all hands on deck, me, you, Daniel, all creating at least four or five different looks with Casey McSherry, who you guys have all seen and loved. Yeah, yeah, yeah it so. was really good. Uh, watch that, that video. It is on this channel right now. Yeah, we changed characters just by doing lighting, so that's a huge, huge uh, tutorial. And actually, you can see the live chat now in the, the live streamed videos. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's pretty cool. All it's right. A recent update for YouTube. Also, um, just this past week, uh, season three of On the Road with Alex and Ryan. Oh, rad. Yeah, that's that started airing. And it is beautiful. Like, the footage, they're in Norway in the winter. How could it not be beautiful yeah, Norway in the winter? The mountains, the sea. You're, you're such a sucker for Norway. Uh, well, <laughs> listen, beautiful landscapes, I'm in. I'm all yeah, in. you are all in. Uh, I'm more of a chaotic city kind of guy. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Let's see. All right, so we, we're done with the drone. Okay, so Canon has announced they're stopping their last film camera, the 1V. And uh, on top of that, Leica added in that they're going to stop doing their M numbered series cameras. So the MP will still exist, and the uh, MA will still exist, but any M7's gone. So that's it, man. Right. They're basically sticking with the like Type 240 and Type right. 5, like that style of. And, uh, and Canon is just totally out. That's it for film for them. So. Yeah. I mean, like Nikon still got the F6, but uh, yeah, we're we're hitting it, man. This is this is the wall we're hitting. So there's this new thing called digital. Yeah, it's all the rage. Yeah. It's a crazy, it's, yeah. a, it's a huge yeah. craze. I think we're shooting digital right now. Yeah, this is not too digital. Yeah. Jeez, Steve. <laughs> all right, let's go right into something crazy. Uh, people have been waiting for the red phone. Yeah, yeah, the, the hydrogen. The hydrogen, uh, it's out. It's, the it's, hydrogen there's a lot of news coming out on that. Uh, you that can... screen looks amazing. There was a, a hands-on video. Yes. It was on F-Stoppers. F-Stoppers has a hands-on video of the hydrogen phone. Uh, it's clean. Yeah. I mean, it is clean. So there's been a lot of rumors about this phone. We've been waiting for it for a long time. Red has been nothing but phenomenal, so I'm yeah. kind of curious about it. Yeah, yeah. All right. And speaking of phones, Kanye West. I mean, we've got to talk about Kanye West. Shot his uh, album cover with an iPhone. Right, right. But in reality, this isn't anything new. Like, we've had albums over the entire history of music shot on various cameras, and some have been toys. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, the, the cameras in, in phones now are better than ever, especially with, like, the iPhones. Like, Beautiful. This, yeah. <laughs> we shot that on, on Our an iPhone. Our thumbnail has been shot on an iPhone. Yeah, shot I, and edited that thing. Yeah. So. But, yeah. Uh, that, that happens quite a bit now. So. so I don't know if you want to say it's taking a job away from someone or selling a photo or whatever, but honestly, it doesn't matter. A good image is a good image. You just have to use the proper resources for the proper reasons. Yeah, creative is creative. Yeah, done. And look, he got a bunch of press out of it. We're talking about it. Yeah. I mean, this is huge for him that we're talking about Kanye. 
Oh yeah, so uh, the mirrorless revolution, right? So Sony's been killing it in the marketplace. Nikon and Canon have yet to actually answer them, right? Canon's got some mirrorless cameras for sure. Yes, but they never went pro with it. They never went like full on. Uh, like a, a flagship level. Like a flagship level camera. Uh, Nikon put out something, but they kind of like forgot about it. Um, now Nikon confirms that spring of 2019, we are going to see their mirrorless. Yeah, that's actually pretty big news. Did they just take your breath away? Is that what just yeah. happened? Well, so they've had the, the, uh, the one. Yeah, they had the one, but they, they, they totally. Well, well I, th I think that, what is this next one? Um, full frame. Yeah, full frame. That's what we're talking so, about. Going so full it's, frame. It's kind of upper level of, of Let's put it this way. They have to answer the Alpha series. Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. Listen. <laughs> Whatever, whatever is made, I'm curious to see what it's going to be. I'm actually really curious because Nikon hasn't changed a lens mount in a long time, ever really, um, and they just there's rumors of them filing uh, camera lens mounts. Canon has filed a full frame uh, patent uh, for a lens mount. Um, there's a lot of rumors out there. I think I think with, with with Canon and Nikon making full frame mirrorless cameras, it's just showing the direction that oh, the yeah. industry is going, right? Yeah, like yeah. It's, there's going to be more mirrorless cameras. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a technology that's definitely been honing down. It's taken a while. Um, yeah. You know, there's a lot of old schoolers like myself that wasn't into the optical uh, electronic viewfinder. Optical viewfinders are still amazing to me. But uh, if you, I'm curious to see what they've been developing for like five years, you know? Like, yeah. who knows what's going to come out? So yeah. next year's going to be pretty, pretty exciting as far as the mirrorless revolution goes. Um, uh, if, you, if you had a Fuji X-T2 and you recently updated uh, firmware to get the new video features and you were having a few flickering issues and small bugs here or there, uh, Fuji did release a new firmware. Yeah. Uh, it kind of came in a little under the radar, but it fixes those issues. So if you download a 4.0, that's the one with the issues. 4.1, they rushed out to fix it. So they're yeah. they, they they giving them quick. Oh, which really is, fast. Which is great. But so. the uh, X-T2, they were trying to give it uh, F-Log and 120 first, uh, frames per second shooting. They were trying to get a little close to the X-H1 body. Yeah. Uh, but people were like, oh, cool, firmware, download it. If you're freaking out, look for 4.1. That's the firmware you want, OK? All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, speaking of something that doesn't need firmware at all, uh, yeah. this, con this Mint unveils an Instant Con R Rangefinder 70. Instant Con RF 70. Right? Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, so this is actually interesting to me. Um, it's interesting. Oh, it's not interesting to me no, at all. Not at all. No, not at all not to not me. At all. No, 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 it's okay, no, Dave. No, no, no what oh. I'm saying is I... Oh, <laughs> I have to stand next to this guy. I just want to let you guys know that. <laughs> you're all, you're all weak. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> No, so I really like rangefinders. No, rangefinders are great. We both have the same Fuji. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so and and we like instant film cameras. Yeah. So so to be able to use the Fuji Instax wide, which is like the best. I mean that that is such a cool format. It, and it's it's a pack film that's still being made. Like we we were racing the clock on the peel apart films. Um, right. no, we don't have to do that with this camera. It's pretty amazing. Uh, it's a Hong Kong based company. I don't know where you can find out about it, though. I think it's just... They have a website, okay. um, which is... It's Mint. Okay. Like Mint Camera. Look up Mint Camera if you're interested in this. This thing looks great. It has a real throwback with the bellows, collapses down. It's a real rangefinder. Yeah. Um, really great. I'm, I'm excited about this. I'm, I'm going to totally try to get one. Yeah, instant Film Rangefinder is just an interesting thing for me. Instant Film is, in, is awesome. Yeah. Period. Okay, so check that out. Mint, look that up. Uh, oh, this one's a good one. Counterfeit memory cards out there, kids. Yeah. Who would have thought that was a thing, right? Well, so apparently, what is it, like a third of the memory cards that people are finding now are, are when faulty. they're buying them online? Right, they're faulty. Uh, yeah, they're, they're like some... They'll work at first, but they'll seize or they'll bog down the camera. Yes, yeah, so it's a good idea to buy your memory cards from a reputable Authorized place. retailers, yes, okay? Yes, yes. And, and it's kind of key because... You don't know what you're getting if you get it, you know, if it's oh, like... Oh, even it's side big, by side. Yeah. So, so, like, there's the speed issues. Forget durability, which is another issue. Right, but yes. Like, but speed, I mean, read, write. What if, what if it doesn't, it's not the same class, and now your camera won't take well, it to record there's class, and then keep, think, think about image recovery, right? What if something right. goes down? There's no warranty. There's no way to get your images back. It's the most important thing. Um, what I suggest you do is look at the color of the lock on the SD card. Look at the color of the sticker. Make sure the reds are the right reds. The fonts are the right size. You, you don't know if you're buying off, off some random internet. Some random internet. Some random internet. 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 There's the multiples in, of those. Random internet, yeah. yes. Some random website. Um, 
but apparently Amazon has had a few mishaps with the counterfeits, so be wary. Authorized retailers. Yeah. If you're walking into a store, I mean, there's a store somewhere around here. Yeah. That you might yes. be able to buy uh, memory cards, <laughs> <laughs> and, and you can always get you know be guaranteed on that. Yeah, just because it says SanDisk doesn't mean it's a SanDisk. So take a keep heed, heed your watch. Mm. Warning. I don't know. I just said a bunch of words. Heed, heed the warning. Heed the warning. There you go. Jeez. Yeah. I'm sorry, kids. It is like. Speaking of memory warning. cards. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, yes. this guy. Speaking of memory this cards. This guy. Uh, uh, a NASA astronaut yeah. was, was. He took a GoPro out in space. In uh, space. Didn't just take it out, went beyond. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. Like, he's, he's literally uh, in space. He's going to gonna shoot a little bit of uh, some footage of. Doing maintenance a project. on yeah, 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 maintenance project. And, uh, the video is hilarious. Yeah, you should watch this. So, so, yeah, forgot his memory card. I got this off of Earth. Photo Brigade on Facebook. Um, this is hilarious. This guy gets up there. He's like, it's blinking. It's saying no memory card. What does this mean? And NASA's home base, like, we're going to check on this for it. It means you have no card. You left it at home. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't fault the astronaut. I don't. I don't. I just think those conversations not, hilarious. I feel like it's not necessarily his job to make sure. I, I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's NASA. I'm pretty sure somebody else was to go and make so, sure it was ready for him. Moral of the story is don't feel so bad if you left your card at home one time. It happens to everybody. I mean, this guy left on Earth. <laughs> so, so yeah. uh, but speaking of NASA, what about that famous camera that went on fire? <laughs> yeah. That melted down. Yeah, the melted camera. That's that's an interesting one. If, like. To see the the after photo of that camera, how it's just... It seemed fake, right? Like, you were like, that's a prop. It doesn't seem right. real. It looks like somebody just yeah. stood there with a blowtorch for 20 minutes. And, and no. But that, that photo went viral really fast, and no one gave a real explanation as to what happened. But now we finally have one. Apparently, he had six cameras set up around a launch site. One was near grass. The grass caught fire. Yeah. The fire got to the camera and meltdown. Yeah, and it all happened pretty quickly, too. So uh, Yeah, he says he ran 40. Uh, it's crazy. I mean, six cameras, one down that's not bad that's not bad you got six cameras up near a launch and yeah. one went down i'm okay with it okay. but if you have if you've seen that photo that's really what happened so it is real and oh my gosh yeah speaking of real photos what's up oh yes yeah yes yes this i love this story by the way yeah oh okay Join. well nina allen uh she was in a famous photo entitled um american girl in italy it is a black and white photo uh she's walking through the streets of italy while men are his while uh whistling and Cat calling her. Uh, a lot of people thought that this was a setup photo. Uh, she came out and said no. What happened was that she was walking through the streets of Italy, and uh, it actually happened. They said, "Whoa, go back and walk through again." And what do you know? They did it again. Shot the photo. Photo's iconic. So yeah, it's it's an interesting case because I feel like in some circumstances, going back and redoing the same action with would a cat still happen. Like shooting it, well, I feel like that might change something. Like, oh, more people would be, you know, maybe like when. But but you know she's saying oh no in this particular case yeah it was it was just like in the photo so. yeah I like when you hear about the real stories around classic iconic photos like this because we've we've always had our idea that it just like exists and it's on this pedestal right. but this photo's from 1951 and it's for till now everyone has thought it was a setup photograph but it actually is and especially with what's going on socially right now it's very pertinent right. um, I think it's a, it's an, I love that photo I really do and I love that she before she passed away sadly uh, last. Uh, a few weeks ago um, at 90, with, you know, of lung cancer, sadly. Uh, but the photo's great. You can find that. Just look for American Girl in Italy, and you can Google it right now. So kind of as a, as a reminder, um, Adorama Inspire is yeah, coming up. Yeah, huge. Yeah, so this is a big event and kind of expo with several workshops and, and... Workshops, walks all over every borough. We got stuff going on upstate. Over 75 vendors are involved. You can come shoot. You can come learn. Yeah. Um, hang out with us. I'm sure Dave will be there. He'll be there. Yeah. It's going to be... It's, <laughs> it's pretty big. Uh, it's going to be happening uh, the 25th through the first. Yeah, if you want full June, schedules. June 25th through the Yeah, yeah, July. it's the last week of June into the first day of July. But if you want full scheduling on everything, just go to adorama.com and up at the top, it'll say Inspire. Click on that and you can actually win a trip to New York. So yeah. uh, get on that right now. Yeah, so even if you're not in New York right now, try to get that, get in there, come. Uh, as we're recording this, there is breaking news, right? We're talking about there's a Sony new product announcement. Yeah, the RX100 Six. Six. 
So if you're not familiar with this camera, it's a little tiny powerhouse, very popular, and it does a great job. It really is a great camera. So okay. th this camera has an exp expanded uh, zoom range. Yeah, yeah. So you got to because I think the previous one was um, more of a standard. It was like 24 to 70 equivalent or something like that. Still a Zeiss lens. Uh, still Sony. Not equivalent, I guess, because it's. But yeah. I mean, it's a tiny camera. This thing is great. It's a it's a great thing to throw in your bag along with your kit. Yeah, it, it's like it's like the the point and shoots, but. Just uh, another level. The steroided out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. they're pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I think the screen flips forward. You can actually see what yeah. you're recording as yourself. So if you're a vlogger or right. anything that you need to recording of yourself, it's a great camera for that. A lot of the, the video features. Yeah, the... 24 frames a second So and tracking. So, yeah, it's there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That just got announced literally minutes ago. Let's literally we talked to our team over here. Yeah. You know. <laughs> as we were recording this, yeah. Yes. So that's... Uh, is that all we're going through right now? Yeah, I think that would be uh, today's episode. All right. And in the comments, let's talk about some of this stuff. What do you think yeah. about Manhattan Henge? Do you think that uh, that cat calling shot is really real? Do you think she's uh, just making up before she exits the world? Uh, was that NASA camera? Um, could it have been protected better? Could you have? Go do, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of things that are going on. We had some more controversial stories coming up, but I don't think we really need to get to them. Uh, the Kanye West, let us know. Do you think that's... That's 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 right. worth uh, an album cover. Is iPhone photography the future of photography? Oh wow! Oh yeah. wow! That's touchy. Let let us know your answers to these questions in the comments down below. Get, don't forget to like, subscribe. Hit like, subscribe, Hit the share. Bell so you get notifications when new episodes come out. If, what is all these mythical things we're hitting? You what point, is this? You point. What is this? The bell is that way. Is, by the there's way. a bell over here. There's the some there. circle here. Like and subscribe. And there's a Dave there. right around here somewhere. Comments. Jeez. Links to all these articles are going to be in the description yeah. down below. Yeah, so if, um, if you're interested in any of this stuff, especially the products, if you want to see what the counterfeit um, memory cards look like, we'll have a link yeah. to what those versus a real one. Uh, protect yourselves out there. I mean, we've even, we've even had stories about batteries blowing up. So just uh, be mindful. Check out the links. Read the stories and get more involved in your own community if you're serious about this. Yeah, so right. we will see you guys next week. Peace.